So I've heard about this new program and I come to Ontario.ca uh, with this beautiful background. Here, I click on English and I see the link where it says support we are providing for small business. So I want to know as a small business, uh, what kind of support I'm getting from the government of Ontario. I click on this link, which, which takes me to a page with all details about the different programs uh, that the government of Ontario is having for uh, in support of small businesses. Uh, I see here that there's a new program, I click on it, and it takes me to, to the page where uh, it provides me the list of the programs that are currently available, Ontario Small Business Support Grant, uh, Ontario Main Street Relief Grant, PP Support, Property Tax, Energy Cost Rebates, and what you need to apply. Uh, so the program information, uh, what the program is, uh, what I will get as, get as a small business, uh, what are the eligibility criteria, and uh, information about the other programs as well. So I decide to apply uh, for the Ontario Small Business Support Grant because I meet the eligibility criteria. I, I'll click on apply for funding. Now when I click for apply for funding, I'm going to take you to show you the test page because I don't want to overwhelm uh, the live system. So it brings me uh, to a page like this. So uh, what you have here is uh, here is that uh, get help button, uh, which allows me to get help from the contact center or get access to the program information guide. Uh, if I want to apply in French, I can switch to French as well. If I've already applied uh, for the other programs, I don't need to start a new application. I can resume the application or if I have saved the application for draft because I didn't add all the information, I can continue uh, with the same application. Or I can apply for funding. I can start with a new uh, application. So uh, given that I'm a new applicant, I'm going to click on apply for funding. And it brings me to this page where uh, I, need, uh, I need to check the eligibility if I can apply for these programs or not. I, by default, the new program is selected. I can select multiple programs if I'm interested or I can just apply for that program. I click on check eligibility, which will again take me to a series of questions uh, to check my eligibility for the program. Uh, the first question for the small business support grant program is, was my business required to close temporarily or significantly uh, restrict services as a result of being subject to province-wide shutdown? I will say yes. Does your business have less than 100 employees? That's the definition for a small business. You can say yes. And is my business expecting at least a 20% revenue decline? Um, I have a handy reference to the business guide that I can access uh, if I want to know more information about what revenue decline means. I'll say yes. And then I click on next. Now, it says that I'm eligible for the following funding program, uh, the Ontario Small Business Grant. I'm going to start my application. Now, when I start my application, uh, it takes me to a, a series of steps. It's going to ask me to uh, provide my business information, my contact information, information related to the new Ontario Small Business Support Grant, then review all the information I provided in the three steps, provide my banking information and submit. So I come here, I provide my legal name. So I'm running a small business, Olivia T room. So I provide the information. Um, I run it as store of happiness. And I provide my CRA business number. Now at this stage, I can validate the business number if I'm not sure if, the, if my business number is correct or not. If, if it's correct, I don't need to validate it there. Uh, if I don't know what way to get the business number, I will provide a handy tip. Uh, it can be found on the GST, GST, HST return or the employer payroll or T2 corporate tax filing. Now, if I'm a self proprietor who doesn't have a business number, we also provide a handy link on how to obtain the business number from the CRA website. The next step is to provide the address information. 
I can use address lookup via postal code, or uh, if I know the address, I can directly key it in. Okay, so I have that. My mailing address is same as head office address. If it is different, uh, I can provide that as well. Click on next. Now uh, here I'm going to provide my contact information. Nash, last name is Akaval. Phone number and my email address. Okay, so I've provided the information, I've confirmed my email address is that. Uh, it's very important to provide the correct email address, uh, validate it again, because that's the address that is being used uh, in terms of sending emails, confirming the receipt of your application, uh, confirming the payment process, and if you have to come back and resume your application. I'm going to confirm that I'm the owner and I have the signing authority uh, for the individual trust for the business. At this point, I can save a draft, which allows me to come back. If I don't have all the information, I can come back and uh, resume the application. All this information will be saved. I don't have to provide that information again. Click on next. Now here I'm going to provide information very specific to the Ontario Small Business Support Grant. Uh, right up front, we provide the application guide, uh, which the users can uh, review, the applicants can review, uh, in case they have more questions or they want to find more about the program. Uh, I need to provide my business type and if it's restaurants and bars, now it asks me if my question is part of an enterprise or an affiliated enterprise. Uh, we have a handy tip in terms of what it means, uh, enterprise, or they can refer to the application guide for more information. So my business is not part of an enterprise, so I'm not gonna check that. Now here, uh, if, I, if I was having a winter seasonal business, uh, uh, like a you know a, a ski uh, uh, resort or uh, uh, any any business that is uh, uh, associated with winter uh, seasonal, I can say yes, and it will ask me a series of questions. Uh, if my business was in operation in the current business business structure in December 2019, if I say yes, uh, it's going to ask me for my highest monthly revenue either in December 2019 or January 2020, given that many winter seasonal businesses don't start operating until January. For the purposes of this demo, I'll say no, my, biz my business is not, not a winter seasonal business. Then the next question is, was my business in operation in the current business structure in April 2019? If I say yes, it will ask me to provide number of employees, my revenue in April 2019, my revenue in April 2020. If I say no, uh, it asks me, it, it prompts me to provide my business full, first full month of operation, uh, you know, uh, the month. And based on that, it's going to ask me for the same information in terms of number of employees, what was my revenue, and in, in February 2020, what was my revenue in April 2020. Uh, for the purpose of the demo, again, I'll say yes, it was in business structure in operation in April 2019. Uh, the number of employees were 10. Uh, the revenue was 10,000 in April 2019. In April 2020, the revenue is 2,000. Then I attest that the information I am providing is all good. I go through the terms and conditions, say I agree. I have provided now information with respect to this program. I'll say next. Now here I can review all the information I have provided, the business information, the contact information, <coughs> sorry, uh, the information related to Ontario Small Business Support Grant. So all the information has, has been provided, it all looks good. I can go to the next step, which is to provide my banking information. 
there's a sample check, copy of sample check provided, just in case people want to see where their branch, or what their branch number, institution number, and account number is located on the check. So I'll put that in here. And I'll select the institution number. Now there are many, many banks. We are just not limiting to the top five. Uh, yeah, they, they are, we cover uh, a broad spectrum of banks uh, within the province. And provide the account number. That's it. And then verify that all the information I provided is correct and click on submit. So when I click on submit, again, some terms and conditions, I'll be attesting as many Agarwal that all the information I'm providing is true, agree and submit. So uh, once I do that, my application is submitted. And uh, uh, so it, it, it's just a test environment. So it's saying that there's a problem because I've already used the CRA business number. So we have a check as well to ensure that the CRA business number is not used again. Uh, there, there's only one application that can be submitted with that application. But once I click on submit, uh, I'll, uh, my application will be submitted and I'll, I'll get a, a, a notification uh, saying uh, that your submission, uh, your, your application has been submitted. Let me quickly share the email with you uh, on how it looks. Uh, the business will receive, a, receive an email similar to this, where it says that you've applied for this program, this is your authorization number, and uh, it's under review. And if it's approved, you will receive a subsequent confirmation email notifying that your payment has been processed. And that it takes around two weeks uh, to receive your payment once the application has been approved. 